everybody, it's Sid from Pine Tree Exterior Cleaning and welcome to a another roof clean. I'm back on the roofs today. Um, it's a bit of a miserable cold day again. It seems like a recurring theme to be honest whenever I do a roof at the moment. Um, but I'm hoping it dries up a bit later. Um, so I can get the biocide on the roof. Um, awkward access around the back on this one. So um, I'm actually gonna do something a bit different today. I'm gonna be sort of answering some questions from my um, video when I mentioned the giveaway of the Flexi Scraper. Um, I asked everyone to sort of leave a comment um, with a question of whatever they wanted to know. Um, if they're interested, if they wanted to win the uh, flex scrapers, we're going to be answering them comments today while I'm cleaning this roof. Um, I've got a scaffolding tile arriving in a little bit. Um, but yeah, this back is where the access is a bit of an issue. I'll turn you around so you can see what I mean. So this is what we're working with here. I mean, I can fit the tower sideways there to get some of that if I choose to do that. But up here, this is where the problem is now pond no room for really nothing here i'm gonna to have to be careful of that pond if there's fish in it um but yeah so what i'm doing is ladders up there using the old trusty 40 foot over eight to get that bit so i'm just going to start here while i wait for that tower to arrive when the tower arrives i will then um basically it just doesn't work and i'll just um read off some of these questions and answer them um so hope it's a bit of a fun video i will announce the giveaway winner um at some point probably at the end when i get home um, so if you just want to find out if you've won or not, you can just skip straight, straight to the end if you want. Um, I'll do like a little random generator thing and it's just going to pick one of the comments. Um, yeah, and whoever it picks wins. So um, I'll get to work. Now let me just crack on with this section. I'll set the camera up quickly. Um, and then when the tower arrives, I'll kick into the video properly. Cheers. And there we are, that is all completely scraped. Um, I've just got to clear out some of the gutter in. I've managed to get up to about there so far. This is why I need a gutter vac. So um, yeah, if anyone wants to send me one, I'll take it, <laughs> I'm joking. But um, yeah, I need to basically, I'll just get a pole and just drag it towards me um, with the pro gutter tool. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'll do that clear up now. The tower should arrive any minute. It's half 10, so that's taken me, I started at nine. Um, so that's taken me an hour and a half to get that done which is all good. So um, I'll set this tower up around the front. I think I can hear him coming actually. And, um, and then I'll start getting through some of these questions. Right then folks, we are up on the scaffolding now. I am just behind the camera. I hope you can all hear me properly over the scraping that's gonna be going on in a minute. Um, so in no particular order, sorry if I'm making noises by the way while I do this, obviously it's quite hard work. Um, in no particular order, the first question comes from uh, Dave Dean, I think it was. Um, and he says, do you ever use a ridge tile uh, scraper when doing the ridge tile, something like that anyway. Sorry, I have to basically look at it, look at the comment, then switch back to my camera and then clean. My missus did write them down for me, but for some reason I thought it'd be a good idea not to bring them with me. Anyway, um, no, I don't use the ridge tile ones. As you can see now, I'm using a wire brush um, to scrub the ridge tiles. Um, in order for the ridge tile scraper to work, you'd have to be there scraping along, um, which for me, on every job, that's not possible. Sometimes it's a bit too high up and a bit too much work. So I just basically, before I start, I go over it like this with a wire brush and try and get the majority off and let the buyer side do the rest. Proper job cleaning says, do you need a minimum pressure 
for to use the dosatron um, you need a minimum of three bar pressure um, for it to, to work properly um, now that is the standard rate for most uh, taps like most house taps so on the vast majority of your jobs you should be fine with that but you can fit a booster pump um, to the box just in case you need it Jamie Bennett says what brush head is that and um, the one that I usually use I think it's called a Phoenix from Window Cleaning Warehouse um, you want to be using four pencil jets on it um, yeah four, the four pencil jets why you can use fan jets if you want um, but yeah I just prefer the, the pencil jets but it's only cheap but I'd recommend changing the fittings that um, fit onto the brush head um, when you get it because the, literally the second job I used with it the brush head fell off because the stock fitting on it is just rubbish so I'd recommend changing them if you get it uh, next question comes from quite a few of you actually um, what is the box I'm using what's the soft wash unit um, the dosatron unit that I'm using um, I got it from GK Pro they haven't done the full sale of it yet and um, there's still a few final touches they need to do I believe um, but I'll post a link in the description uh, to Mike Witherspoon's email he's sort of the rep for them um, who deals with basically the sales and things like that so I'll leave a link in the description so you can um, basically give him a message he says he doesn't really want to sell anymore yet because he hasn't got the stickers for him and um, the, basically the design and decoration for it to make it look all fancy um, but I wasn't bothered about that I just wanted something that works so I got mine a bit early but I'll leave a link in the description for that so a fellow named Chris sorry it's going to be loud now by the way um, a fellow named Chris said what's the best solution for cleaning up um, after scraping um, if you mean sort of basically getting all the uh, the muck up and things like that um, just sweep it up use a leaf blower use a gutter vac um, whatever you've got access to you need to fix this but yeah nothing major I mean either way it takes its time it's you know it's not a quick uh, thing really clean enough it's sometimes it takes longer than the job itself um, but, uh, but yeah I'd recommend a leaf blower a gutter vac um, and yeah just get sweeping usually have a helper that that definitely speeds things up as well if you've got a geezer cleaning up while you're working that's what i like doing uh right what's next so from david and nj i think one other person um went on about sc scraping or pressure washing uh roofs now i really really worry about pressure washing some roofs um but that's just me. I mean, there's people that do it every day and they do a really good job. Um, whereas for me, I work on my own, so I have no one to man the machine. So if something went wrong while I was at the top of the scaffold in the tower, um, I'd be a bit worried about myself being on my own with a massive leak or if a hose burst and it was going crazy and all over the place. It's mainly just safety things and knowing me, I'd end up uh, damaging the roof of some sort. So. Um, I prefer scraping, it's not to say I won't ever pr pressure wash a roof, I probably will at some point um, but I think if anything I'm going to go more into the steam cleaning side of things so low pressure and obviously a lot of heat to, uh, to clean the roofs instead Richard Paul says how do you deal about working over um, a conservatory um, well funny enough at the start of this video I was working over one um, get yourself a long enough pole basically and get a pair of ladders up to um, up to the gutter line on the conservatory you can usually reach um, roofs with a bit of a steeper pitch you can usually reach um, just straight over it basically um, or if there's room to set up a tower you can set up a tower behind the conservatory and then um, just reach it there if you've got a long enough pole I think probably a 35 40 foot pole should get you over most conservatories I think 30 feet might just come up a little bit short um, but don't quote me on that because it depends on the, the length of the conservatory really doesn't it um, yeah it's not the easiest but now that I've got that nice over eight it's definitely a lot easier than it used to be put it that way oh, uh, lovely jubbly says is there any benefits to brushing in the biocide rather than applying it with a DA component spray nozzle um, I prefer brushing in I feel like it does a bit more of a thorough clean um, there's nothing wrong with the spray nozzle um, I just feel like it foams up a lot better um, it gets a lot more um, saturated into the roof uh, brushing in versus spraying it on um, and what else was I going to say oh it's easier to do as well um, when you're trying to hold a spray nozzle 30 feet away from you you know with a heavy pole trying to spray a roof like, accurately um, it's very very difficult to do 
um, but brushing it, you just rest, rest the brush on the roof and just brush in. Um, it's a lot easier to do. Um, but I do love the DA component spray nozzle, it's brilliant. AW Services, how's it going, mate? You right? He said, Are you going to the expo in uh, September? I am indeed, my friend, so I will see you there if you are, if you are going. Um, it'd be good to catch up with you if anyone else is going as well. Um, it's the window cleaning expo, this is. Um, yeah, I will be going, so um, I'll be staying over as well if anyone wants to have a beer or if we're allowed to anyway by then, which I, uh, I hope we are. And um, yeah, I'll definitely be going. Daniel says, Where did you get your mask from? Uh, my respirator I got from arco.co.uk, um, arco.co.uk, it's a 3M mask um, and the filters that I use in it are ABEC1 filters, A-B-E-K-1. Um, they're what you want basically when you're going to be using Biocide, um, they will completely protect you from it so you're not breathing in anything harmful. Right, that's page one done, that was written down, I'm uh, just going to finish this section off and then I will be back. Right then, Adam says, what is the uh, next add-on for roof cleaning or pressure washing with a thousand pound budget? Do you mean, what's the best one to choose, either roofs or pressure washing um, with a thousand pound budget? Um, if so, I'd probably say pressure washing, just because it's a bit easier. Um, it's a bit more straightforward to do as well. There's not really much you have to really think about, just spray the water and do a good job, that's it. Um, and you can get a you know you can get a nice pressure washer for a brand and that's really all you need. You don't actually need you know anything more than the pressure washer itself really and a, a broom to brush some sand in with and maybe a few chemicals but um, yeah and if, if so I'd say look at some Honda engine machines or you know you can even the one that I've got is 400 quid and it's lasted me over a year now so um, if that's not what you mean but what's what's left to go after pressure uh, pressure washer or roof cleaning. I'd say I'd like go cleaning, going to that place, I've got a van with, with that brand. And uh, yeah, you'll be away. Andy Goodwin says, will the GK Pro uh, damage anything um, if it runs onto things? Um, no, so basically with fire sides, it will only harm anything that is organic. So if it lands, you know, it could land on literally anything and it's not going to touch it. It's not going to stain it, discolour it, bleach it or anything. Um, it's only going to kill off things that are organic and alive, so your algae, your litch and things like that. Um, so that's the only colour difference you get is if you've, you know, you've got a roof that's holding in loads of damp because of the algae all over it. Once you get rid of the algae, the, the roof will go to its natural colour that it's going to go to. So um, that's the selling point for customers as well. You'd say don't worry, there's no bleach in it, nothing like that. Um, you say the roof may lighten considerably. Um, or it might stay the same, it's, you know, it's hard to say, it just depends on the water that's on the roof and how much um, algae is on there. And, uh, yeah, same with GK Pro, same with Algae Player, same with Ben, same with all of them. with pre-owned equipment um, that you can buy things for sale, etc. Um, there's a few on Facebook, um, I don't usually go on them uh, personally. Um, I usually just buy my things new if I can afford it, but uh, yeah, there's a few on Facebook. I'd suggest just type in like uh, window cleaning, um, stuff for sale, roof cleaning, stuff for sale, uh, pressure washing, things for sale, um, and it should come up with loads of groups. Join the groups, and then um, yeah, people are posting stuff for sale all the time. Now. Hey, Harrod Cleaning Services said, so What percent do you run your Dosatron at? Um, because I use GK Pro, mine is set to 25 because GK Pro is diluted 25 to 1. Um, if you're using Algo Clear, um, then you want to be setting it for 1 to, uh, to 20. So it's just 1 to 20, basically. Um, yeah, that's all you need to run out. Ground surfaces. So if you're going to be doing like a tennis court or something like that, um, you want to set it to like 1 to 40, 1 to 30, maybe. Um, because the dilutions are a lot different for ground surfaces. Um, but I think it's the same as roofs for rendering. So I think this will be 1 to 25 or 1 to 20 for render. 
Ryan says, what's the best way to get green algae off of uh, fences? Um, Fireside is always a great option, or you can probably just pressure wash it. Um, you just may need to retreat the, uh, the wood afterwards. So basically sand it down a bit. And then, um, yeah, like varnish it or paint it or do whatever you want with it. Neil says, do you prefer treating roofs bottom to top, top to bottom? Um, does it save on biocide either way? No, nah, it doesn't really make a difference to be honest with you, mate. Um, I used to think it did. There's a lot of like, peer pressure saying, oh, I should always go bottom to top, bottom to top. Um, but it genuinely does not make a difference. Um, if it's a completely vertical surface, I would say, yeah, go bottom to top, just to make sure you get full cook coverage. But, um, you know, you can pretty easily see what you're doing on the roof. You can go top to bottom because it is generally a bit easier to do it top to bottom. Instead of having to keep lifting the pole up, you just have to trawl it down. Robert Caddy said, is there a roof that you would not tackle? Um, I don't tend to touch man-made slate, to be honest with you. Um, just because I like, you know, I like my work to be a, um, a walking advert. You know? So man-made slate, they never usually come up too good. Um, they look a bit horrible if you put biocide on them. So I tend to sort of steer clear of them, to be honest with you. Um, and you will find that most roofs take more than one day. They used to, um, they used to always take me at least two days, but lately with upgrading gear and things like that, I can sort of get them, get a lot of them done in a day. I think this one will be done within the day if I uh, hurry up. Obviously I'm gonna be a bit slower cause I'm trying to talk and do it at the same time, but um, I should be finished this one today. Tom Bateman says, how did you get into exterior cleaning? Uh, what made you go for it? Um, I was a window cleaner for um, quite a few years. Um, I ended up moving to Gloucester and I set up a window cleaning business with my dad. Um, and that's when I started really sort of doing the odd roof here and there and, um, you know, a lot of gut cleaning and things like that. And I always thought, man, this is really good money. If I could do this every day, I'd be laughing. But I didn't think it was possible to get that amount of work in. Um, but then I moved house again and I thought, right, I'm not going to be here for long, so um, I might as well just go for it, see if it works. Um, yeah, and it did, and slowly but surely the work started coming in. And then after about a year, it's been about a year since I moved now. Um, I've been kind of busy for about six months straight, really, pretty much fully booked up. Um, definitely this year has been a lot better than last year anyway. Um, so that's pretty much how started, just basically through window cleaning. Nev Jones says, any suggestions on scrapers? Um, I use a flexi scraper, um, which is uh, one that I'm giving away, so you never know, you might win it. Um, I haven't tried any of the others, so I can't honestly give you my opinion on them, so I can only sort of say that I can endorse the flexi scraper at the moment, to be honest. Um, and how much should you be charging for jet washing? Um, I charge anywhere from three to four pound per meter squared. Um, usually around four pound um, and that's with like resanding um, as well um, so yeah that's usually a sort of decent price to sort of go on to be honest with you some people are more expensive some people are like bloody one pound fifty a square meter and I don't know how they survive but um, yeah just price whatever you're comfortable with really but I'm between three and four Jonathan Hart says have you ever broken any tiles um, to be honest with you not really um, the only times there's been a broken tile is when it's already been broken and I've basically just exposed it. Um, so I don't really take responsibility for that. I just point them in the right direction of a roofer or someone that can replace them for them because um, I don't generally do replacements. Um, but I've never like walked on a roof and broken a tile. Um, I always think what I'd recommend to everyone um, before you start, if you're going to be working on roofs, look at plenty of diagrams of how a roof is built and how it works. And you can kind of imagine then where the, the beams and the joists and struts are going to be and then spread your weight evenly sort of where they would be sort of say every three tiles up or you know every meter basically um yeah and then just try and spread your weight evenly and just be as careful as you can keep like more than just i tend to always be sort of um on my knees my butt uh you know and my hands all on the roof at the same time like monkey crawling up it instead of um you know just standing on it uh could you put too much weight in one spot then and that's how you'll end up breaking them right then uh love it asks how did you feel doing a roof off um, a ladder again and how much does the scaffolding cost um the scaffolding costs 90 pound for a week um that's with vat delivery and all that stuff 
um, which is a bargain in my opinion. I mean, I use one per job um, and just add it on to the cost. So um, I don't even hire it for the full week. I just hire it for one day. It's still the same price, but oh well. Um, and how's the job doing a roof off a ladder again? Not too bad, to be honest. I definitely prefer the scaffolding, that's for sure. Um, you know, I'm on it now. It's nice and sturdy and safe. I don't have to worry about anything. Um, but yeah, I'm not, you know, I'm still not too bothered about ladders, really. Daniel Griffiths said, what's it like working off roof ladders? Um, any tips? Um, get someone to help you getting them up there in the first place. If you've got the big double extension ones, um, I'd really recommend, you know, maybe even like tying a rope around the top, throwing it over the house. So when you're trying to wheel them up the top by yourself, you can have a guy on the other side pulling it um, or even just holding the weight there. Um, because it's heavy and you know you could be on a pair of ladders and you're trying to push heavy roof ladders up a roof you know with tiles like this where you've got to sort of get up each tile um yeah it's it doesn't never felt safe to me doing it that way um so yeah if you've got someone like holding the slack um, makes it a hell of a lot easier um secondly working off them harness yourself onto them um it's better than nothing at the end of the day um you know you could be there and you could slip you know whatever so i'd say yeah, I'd say always um, just harness, harness yourself off to your, to your roof ladders or something else on the roof, um, you know, and try and be as safe as you can. Um, but once you're up there, it's pretty much fine, to be honest. Bobby Pinto says, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Pff, crikey. Um, hopefully uh, a few vans on the road, a few employees. Um, I'd like a window cleaning company that I don't even, you know, bother. It's like that runs itself. Um, sort of a couple of people doing that. Um, I'd still be hands-on in this sort of line of work. Um, but hopefully with a couple of lads working for me as well um, and then looking into going into like a plant hire business as well um, but god knows it's a long way off yet so we'll, uh, we'll see James says where did you get the safety bars at the bottom of your ladders um, all of my ladder accessories are from midlandladders.co.uk um, so the stand, the standoffs, the step, the bars at the bottom the mat, everything is from Midland Ladders. David Bell says, where do you buy your biocide? Um, I buy it all from GK Pro now. Um, I don't use Algo Clear anymore. Um, not out of dislike for them, it's a great product. Um, I just prefer the GK Pro. I can get in contact with the guys there a little bit easier as well. So um, it all helps if I need to put an urgent order in, if I need it sort of in the next couple of days, they're always willing to help out. So I appreciate that. I shop for customer service mainly, so. W&W Window Clean says, is it worth it to have property damage insurance? Um, it's worth to have insurance in general. Um, so public liability is the main thing. Make sure you're insured for the type of work that you're doing as well. I'm actually switching mine over next month. Um, so I will probably do a video on it just to basically say this is what you should be going for basically. Um, but yeah, yeah, always, always be insured because you never know. Even if you think, right, I've done this for years, all it takes is one mistake, you know what I mean? And then you could be seriously out of pocket. So. Graham says, apart from word of mouth, what's the best way to get more customers? Um, knocking doors, man, in my opinion. Um, maybe not for a roof cleaning. I mean, I haven't tried it myself yet. I'll let you know because I'll do that at some point. Um, but if not, then just advertise. Whatever avenue that you could advertise on, just try it out. So chuck 30 quid on Facebook, 30 quid on next door, 30 quid, you know, just whatever you can. Um, and you'll start to see leads coming through. Just build up a presence in your area. So just advertise every which way that you can. Um, that's all I do and I'm really busy at the moment. Hussain, how's it going buddy? He says, uh, how's the little one? Um, well, there's two little ones. So my eldest daughter, who is um, two, she's hilarious. Um, yeah, she's a right little troublemaker. Um, I'll try and insert something of her, she's well cute. Um, and then the newborn, um, she's, I think she's nine weeks now, eight, nine weeks, I think. I'm terrible at dates. Um, but yeah, she's golden. So there's a few hospital appointments every now and again, because um, she needs sort of like physio kind of thing on her foot. Um, but she's, yeah, she's a, a brave little girl. She's doing amazing. So um, just keeping me up at night. So yeah, me and the missus, we're very tired at the moment, but we're cracking on. Cheers, mate. Apex Jack, uh, this is probably going to be my last one. Um, I'll have another check when I get home if there's any I've missed. Um, there is a few I've definitely missed, but a lot of them are similar. So hopefully I've kind of covered everything. Um, Apex Jack says, any tips for actually winning the jobs? Um, because you haven't won any yet. Um, my main tip is always go and see them in person if you really need the work. I mean, half my quotes now I just quote online just because um, if I go and see every single one and I've got every single one, I'd be way too busy and I'd end up getting a lot of cancellations. But um, the, uh, the best tip is go and see them in person and you need to be reading up on everything, like really, really educate yourself. Um, because if you're turning up going, um, yeah, and it's uh, it will kind of, yeah. uh, and they're saying, they're asking you questions like, well, how long will it take to work? 
um, what's the chemical makeup of the stuff that you put in on the roof, what does it do? And you're like, uh, uh, you're gonna lose the job. They're gonna be like, this guy is not confident. So you need to educate yourself so you become an expert in, in the stuff that you're using basically. Um, and then you'll know any question that comes your way, you'll know how to answer it. Anything that you need to say to them um, will be sorted. Um, so they'll have trust in you. That's the important thing. You need to be getting people to trust you. If they're not going with you, you're either too expensive, too cheap, or your price is okay, but they just don't trust you. So you need to build that trust, you know, be friendly, smile, have a conversation, and then, um, and then just, yeah, educate as much as you can. Sorted. Hi folks, uh, giveaway time. This is really frustrating. I'm talking over this now. Um, I just recorded all of this um, and it didn't pick up my voice. The thing that I'm recording to record my screen wasn't recording my voice, which is really, really annoying. Um, but basically, going through the giveaway thing, I've posted my link in the description. It's 137 comments that it goes through. Um, yeah, and uh, please don't think that this is fake. I was just going to redo it again, but then I wouldn't think it's fair. Because um, I was really quite shocked at who actually won. Uh, it was Ched UK who's been commenting on my videos for ages. Um, I was going to redo it because I didn't want anyone to think that it, that it's fake and it's gone to someone that um, you know who I've spoken to before. Well, we've never spoken. Well, no, actually, sent me an email the one time about some SEO stuff. But yeah, I didn't want to redo it because then I didn't think it would be fair on him. Um, so yeah, bit annoying. Sorry, it's definitely not fake. I will do another sort of one in future to make up for it and I'll probably live stream it or something. Um, but yeah, it's that really annoyed me that um, it didn't pick it up because I was like, no way. I was like, I, I didn't think that he actually wanted it. And then I realized in his comment, he said, if I win, I promise I'll start cleaning roofs. So we'll have to get a video of um, Chad cleaning his roof then, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I think I showed again that it is random. I picked another one straight after it and it was someone completely different, so it's not set up. Um, but yeah, so unfortunately it didn't pick up my live reaction to it, but yeah, sorry about that everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video regardless, and uh, if I, uh, oh I said as well, it, sorry if I didn't get round to answering your questions. Um, as you see, there's 137 comments, so it, it would have been like an hour long video for me to get round to all of them, so here's me picking another one, look, just so you know. Ended up being David Price, so unlucky David Price. Um, maybe, you'll, <laughs> maybe you'll win next time. But yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Cheers and uh, sorry about the ending there. Oh, and Chad, send me your um, address, mate. Uh, message me, send me your address, postcode and all that and I'll get this uh, scraper set and blade sent out to you, mate.